Welcome to another crochet tutorial with Creations by Courtney for the modified raised diagonals. Get your hook and yarn. Let's get started. This is a stitch that I found in one of my books and I always have to change things up because that's just fun for me. So we're going to be working with bulky weight yarn and number five and a furls L, which is a seven millimeter and honestly when I measured this this is actually an eight so that's okay because the L in most other yarn I mean crochet hooks are typically an eight millimeter so we're going to get started by making our slip knot and if you've been following me for a while and if not you're new to the channel welcome uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are uploaded. So for this, it's going to be a multiple of four plus three. So I like to start with a foundation stitch. Yes, we can do a chain, but why do that? And if you do prefer to do a chain, just do a multiple of four. So... Um, and if you do the chain, a multiple of four, and then you'll single crochet in each stitch across starting in the second one. So we're going to do 19 foundation single crochets. So this is one. And again, when making the foundation stitch, always want to work under both loops of the chain of the previous stitch. Yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through one, yarn over pull through two. So do that until you have 19 stitches. All right, so you should have 19 foundation stitches. So let's count one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Wonderful. So, this is going to be our right side row. And now we're just going to turn our work and do double crochet in each stitch. So, I like to do a chain of starting, double crochet, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert through the stitch, yarn over, pull up loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. If you don't know that stitch, you can always just do a chain three, but double crochet in each stitch across. And row two is the beginning of the repeat. Now this is a eight row repeat. I know so much but really once you get going it's really easy to follow. In the first row of post stitches are the trickiest and I modified them because I don't like the gaps on the back. Now that we're at the end, we're going to turn our work, okay? So we have our first two rows, the foundation single crochet, or if you started with a chain and then major single crochets, and then one row of double crochets. All right, so we've turned our work after completing the first two rows, and we're going to do a starting, a chain with starting double crochet. I'm just going to call it double crochet. It's such a mouthful, especially since I'm getting my voice back. Uh, and now we're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, so we now have three double crochet. Now we're going to make a front post extended treble. So we're going to yarn over twice and we're going to work around the third stitch 
two rows below. So you insert your hook from front to back to front, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, and this is what makes it extended. And now yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And this is where I modified the stitch because it makes more sense when we have more rows why this is going to be so tall. But we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch that is normally skipped when doing post stitches, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So this counts as a half double crochet. And then yarn over and pull through three. So this is the modified stitch. So normally we would skip that, but technically it's going to lean and it's going to be right on top of that so it doesn't create a gap in the back. And now we're just going to make three double crochet or one double crochet in the next three stitches. And now we're going to do another front post extended treble. So yarn over twice and we're going to continue to work two rows below. So we're going to skip three. So that's one, two, three that we skip from the last one. And we're going to work around this stitch here. So go around that single crochet, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch behind it, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And honestly, I think that's the trickiest part. Once you get this row set, it's really easy to follow where to put your post stitches. So we'll make three more double crochet, like so. And now we'll make the next front post double crochet. So yarn over twice, skip three stitches. So work around this one, insert your hook from front to back to front, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, work in this stitch that's normally skipped, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And now to repeat, double crochet in the next three stitches. Front post extended treble stitch. Okay, remember you're skipping three to work around the next stitch two rows below. Pull through one, pull through two, pull through two, make a half double crochet, yarn over, pull through three, and then we'll just double crochet in the last three stitches. All right, so we have now completed row three. So set that down, and again, it does look straight, but I promise you it will start to lean as we do more rows. It really, really will. So it's a slight lean. Now in the original pattern, it does lean more because there's shorter stitches in between the rows with the front post and double crochet. So turn your work and work double crochets in each stitch and I'll see you back at the start of row five. All right, so we've completed the next row of double crochet. And so again, that was the same as row two, and we've also done it for row four. So now we're going to turn our work, and we're going to double crochet in the first four stitches.
Okay, so we have our four double crochet, excuse me. Now we're going to do our first front post extended treble around the post, two rows below. So yarn over twice, insert your hook around the post. So that's the top part, not the half double crochet. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Make your half double crochet in the stitch behind it, right? Just pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And so this is why it's extended. So you see how if we didn't, it could pull and make the fabric pucker. But in doing that extended stitch and using double crochets, we don't have to worry about the fabric scrunching. So double crochet in the next three stitches. All right, front post extended treble around this post, two rows below. Don't forget to make that half double crochet behind it. I mean, you could do it without, it's just you will get the typical gap at the back of the fabric. And this modification allows you to create a solid fabric. So double crochet in the next three stitches. Front post extended treble around the post, two rows below. Again, making that half double crochet, pull through. Double crochet in the next three. definitely head over to creationsbycourtney.com if you would like the written instructions to refer to while also watching the video. So front post extended treble around the post two rows below. And do you see how this is going to come together? And we will double crochet in the last two stitches. All right, let's take a look. You like how it's starting? And so one thing to note is that this fabric will lean because of the post stitches. The edges are straight, but they will appear to not be straight. So don't worry that if you make a huge swatch or that you're following along a, a pattern like the winding vest, it is totally normal that the fabric will lean. It's due to the modification of these stitches. So do you see it starting to lean? Again, the hook is straight. You see how that's leaning? All right, so turn your work and do a row of double crochet. And then we will come back together for row seven. All right, so now that we have two rows of post stitches and you look at the fabric, we don't have the gap at the back. That's because of the modification, right? And so as you see, it pulls in a little bit, but that's okay. Especially because I'm using Wool of the Andes, which is 100% wool. This can be blocked in order to straighten out the edges. So, okay. So now we're going to start row seven with a double crochet. And we're literally going to work around this stitch two rows below. So make your front post extended around the first single crochet, double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, make your half double crochet, pull through all three. 
Okay? Now, just make three double crochet. Because we always work three double crochet between the front post extended treble stitches. Again, working around the post, two rows below. And now make your three double crochet. Now make your next front post extended treble around the post two rows below. And just continue until you get to the end. Okay. So, now that we're at the end, we have two stitches left. We are going to make the next front post extended. And then double crochet into the last stitch. So, if you're keeping up with the pattern, that does mean we could stop here, but we're actually going to, after we make the next row, row eight, and then come back for nine, we're actually going to work on that edge. Yep, working on the edges. So, I'll see you back after you make your row of double crochet for the start of row nine. Okay, so we've now finished row eight. And we're going to turn our work. We're going to do a chain of starting double crochet. Just like so. We're going to do another double crochet. Okay, and we're going to work around this post with a front post extended treble. Make your half double crochet. Finish the stitch and then double crochet in the next three stitches. So continue in pattern and I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, so we are down to the last four stitches. We will make our double crochet. Sorry, yarn's going everywhere. So. Typically, we would not make a post stitch because there's nothing to attach it to. There's no additional stitch to work into. But this is where the modification comes in handy. So we're going to work around the post two rows below. And we're going to make our half double crochet into the top of that last stitch. And voila, get to work a postage all the way to the edge. So really, that's the pattern, right? Is that we started here, worked across. It's one stitch over each row, right? So once you get the foundation rows, this is so easy to follow. So again, you'll make double crochet going back around, and then you'll be back to having your starting double crochet and then two double crochet just like we did here right because we have two and then you'll have two more and then the post stitch will be above this one and not directly above the last one it'll be slightly over so that you'll work around this post just like we did here with row three and so on and so on and then once you have a bigger piece you'll see this amazing winding 
look. So I'll show you the bigger sample that I have of that stitch. It has all kinds of yarn pieces. So that when you make a bigger fabric, and again, the back is nice and smooth. Just look at that. And then when you flip it over, look at how those post stitches come out. Isn't that lean amazing? And again, it is so worth working along the edge to get such a lovely piece of fabric. So remember, from this to this, and that's all there is to the modified raised diagonals. Happy stitching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and the notification bell, bell so you don't miss out on any future crochet tutorials, crocheting with me, unboxings, and more. I'll talk with y'all soon.